Hey guys, uh, this is Dalstone here doing a Let's 3D model number 56. I'm trying to keep my voice down a little bit because um, the wifey's sleeping upstairs. Um, so, try not to be too, too loud. Uh, today's going to be another. Oh, let me turn off the music. Today's going to be another quick Let's 3D model. Um, just kind of let you guys see where the scene's at at the moment. Got a bunch of placeholder trees and placeholder fence and stuff like that. Um, this glass shader has been annoying me quite a bit, so I want to get that out of the way. Uh, I want to welcome a few people who subscribed to my YouTube channel the past since the last video. Uh, Joe Nuggets, uh, Joe Nied, Marib. Thank you guys so much for uh, following me now on my YouTube channel. So for this one, I'm just going to quickly uh, UV all of this, the glass on here. Um, and I'll show you guys the glass shader that I created, or not the glass shader, but like the glass texture that I made. So, um, it's going to be the same thing, I'm just going to turn on some music and just focus in uh, for the next, hopefully 30, 30 minutes or so. And, uh, yeah.
no one's really gonna see this texture that much, so I'm not too worried about it. Apparently no one's not gonna see it too much as <clears throat> if you look at the scene. not exposed that much so <clears throat> so it's not too, too bad uh, yeah, I'll show you guys a scene like most of my shots you're not really gonna see it and if I do have a few shots that you'll see it I'll be a little bit more str strategic I'll take shots like that maybe you know so This one is backward though. Let's so just save this. Let me just export this out. Export this out. Uh, content. Uh, cathedral right window. I learned this uh, at work. Just like um, copying a piece of the name and just replacing it. I learned that at work <coughs> from one of my coworkers because at least that way you know that it's going to be like, hey, you want to replace it. And if it says that, then you know that's that it's right. And that way you don't have to type it out all the time. It's a pretty good trick. So it's hiding it. Let's put it back here. So even this one's missing. I don't know what I did. I probably have a different file somewhere that's a little bit more updated. I just uh, upgraded my Dropbox now, so now I have like one terabyte of space, which is really, really handy. And for those who don't know, um, shift clicking on Maya will actually load up another Maya. That way you don't have to like go and find it or whatever, like a shortcut. You just go shift click on the icon and it just load up another one. What was I doing? Uh, back. Yeah, just hit import. No, just gonna <clears throat> just gonna copy it. Control C, bring it to here. I'm just gonna Control V, and just gonna put it into a different group. <clears throat> just gonna take this middle mouse click, drag it into the group that I want. It. Just gonna delete that copy and pasted group now. I'm also gonna delete this one. Put it in the most more updated one. For this, um, uh, let's see. I'll do the same thing. I'm just going to uh, add the broken window to it. And this one, I actually like it, like because this is going to be shown a little bit more. Like this might not be too bad because it's not as tileable, so it's uh, it hides it a lot better. I actually don't mind that. Let's see if I can get a better placement on this. See the how there's a scene right here? <coughs> I have wood, right? That's like right there. So it hides it like, perfectly. So I actually don't mind that. That looks pretty good. Take this, copy it. Selection.
so now this is gonna be like, well, where, whoa, what the hell just happened? What is this? Okay, hold on here. That is not good. What is happening? There we go. I don't know what happened. I must have like clicked the, the group or something. Okay, so I gotta replace this with the glass shader. So I'm gonna do a glass shader. A special glass shader. A special glass shader. I'm just gonna save this just in case something happens. Okay, so I'm gonna um, create a glass shader. Um, I'm just gonna open up my notes here. I made, I learned how to do uh, a blend vertex painted um, t shader now, so it's pretty cool. So I'm do material. I'm just gonna go. Um, Sorry, I just created a new material. <clears throat> I'm just gonna go to my content browser. some dirt and moss onto it. So actually moss really can't grow on windows, I don't think. I'm trying to think here. Does moss grow on windows? I guess it can if there's dirt on it. Uh, but let's just put dirt for now. Uh, let's see here. So where's my dirt? I still write notes all the time, especially when you're learning a process, you know, you're not going to be super pro at it, so, roughness, there, um, let me see what my roughness, uh, TC default, should be okay, So, <clears throat> okay, it should be like this actually. Dirt up here. This is how I know <clears throat> base texture is in the B. Go 
goes to the red. This goes to here. Just check my notes, make sure it's all set up correctly. Okay, I think they're set up. just goes into base color time is it about 10 minutes here so I'm take this control w to duplicate and i'm just going to do the same thing for this one so base here so here red or alpha goes into here red goes into Should be it. The reflection is pretty deadly here. Okay. Let's save this. And we'll see how it looks. the static here. Content browser. Materials. Here. Oof. That looks pretty pretty rough. Uh, either the noise is too much or Oh no, it looks fine here. I still find that the noise might be a little bit too much. I might have to lower down the noise. Yeah, the noise is like way too abrupt. Okay, let me just uh, go back to uh, Photoshop. Let's just redo that. The, uh, the normals on that, I think it's a little too much. God, it's terrible. Okay, I'm just gonna try this again. Let's see if it actually saves my um, saves my settings or not. Because I think 0.6 is actually pretty good in most, in most cases. Uh, 0.6, yeah. 0.6 is always the default, which is great. But I think. See, now you can really tell the difference there. See how this looks. I think this might look a little bit better. Did I get updated? I think it got updated. I think it's a little bit. I mean, from far away, it looks great. Once you get up close, it starts to look a bit crazy. <clears throat> I 
Let's see how it looks. Um, what happens if I give it no normals? Let's see if, if let's see if this is the video. Let's see if it's kind of pointing here. So I have a feeling that maybe something is not even happening. So let's just see. I guess I can just easily unhook uh, the shader. Let's see if it is actually the normal. I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, it's definitely normal for sure. I think it might be like the the, the density. The pixel density. That looks pretty good like that. Okay. Let's do scan, but let's say two times, perhaps. Okay, that's a little bit better. I think that's, we're going to have to look at that. For now. Uh, that's not it. I have to go. Why is there... Dirty, dirty geometry. Okay, not the <coughs> dirty geometry through to a wall window. show you guys this before I log out but hope we have some time there we go oh shit over there I need to do this to all the uh, content there's no light here I think it's fine for now. So let's save that. Sweet. What's this one? Someone just trying to be special. Ooh, that looks pretty cool. It's just trying to be special. Uh, just cool. So now we have some broken windows or whatever. I've heard of these ones. 
especially these ones because you can see it so much. I'm just going to quickly do a vertex paint. Break it up. Just kind of break it up a little. From far away, hopefully, it reads a little bit better. I think I got a <clears throat> gotta add some more vertices to these. Set the vertex painting is a little bit cleaner, but but yeah, I'll do that uh, the next the next time here. Um, so now that I got like a pretty pretty decent looking glass in here, uh, I can stop worrying about that. Next steps are to kind of get these trees. I think I think the trees are the next the next big thing I need to do, and then the rest is just kind of like polish and lighting and all that stuff. So, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, you know, this is a pretty short video, but I feel like I'd rather do something for you guys than nothing. So, uh, so yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed that, and uh, see you guys in the next.